Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at the 2.5 watt desktop laser engraver from Banggood.com. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to it just in case anybody's interested. So this is a 30 by 40 centimeters engraving size. So it's quite a large size that you can engrave. That's A3 size. Um, this is a bit more expensive model. Uh, you can get cheaper models, but this was 196 pounds. Uh, you can get smaller models as well. They all basically do exactly the same job. It's just the power of the um, laser. The more power you've got, the quicker you can uh, engrave the job that you're doing. The lower powered laser is obviously going to need more time to burn into the material that you're using. So, my, I've had mine now for a couple of weeks. It actually came very quickly from Banggood. It was shipped express delivery, which was free and I received it within three days so that's I thought that was pretty impressive and so here's my model I've actually built a enclosure for it with a extractor fan in it to uh, remove the um, smoke fumes and I've also put a light inside but that's the actual unit now this is a self assemble unit so you need to actually assemble it yourself and uh, Banggood have got a video for this and I found it pretty simple to put it together and yeah it's pretty good um, I deviated from the instructions slightly I moved my cable into the side here rather than going through the rails uh, simply because I was going to put it in a box and the cables would bind on the side so I've done my cabling like that but yeah this is um, so far I'm pretty impressed with it and the software and that is pretty easy to use and uh, yeah I'll show you how it works okay. Okay, so the piece of software that we're going to use to engrave with is called Benbox. Uh, this is a pretty simple piece of software to use. Uh, if anybody needs any help with it, because it can be a bit tricky to w sometimes work out. But the first thing to do would be to go up to here to where the uh, little flag is, and then you can change the language. There's Chinese, Japanese, French, uh, EN is English, so I'm going to use that one. 
and then in this program we can basically import photos uh, there's also drawing tools here for drawing curves, circles, lines, uh, inputting text uh, importing photos and pictures uh, what I'm going to do is just go into the files and I'm basically just going to download this pig here so there we go and I'm going to engrave that onto a piece of wood and see how it comes out Okay, so I've just quickly sketched this up and I'm going to cut it out in an A4 sheet of paper. Okay. Some of the stuff that I've uh, cut and engraved, uh, I have done a lot more than this and it's a pretty good little machine I would say. Uh, here's that Jace's Lather Engraver. Which I engraved on here. It has went through just about, but I didn't want it to go through because I wanted it to all stay together so I could show you. I mean, you could engrave this on wood, leather, uh, card, um, dark uh, black acrylic or dark black plastic, you could engrave this on quite easily. And then also, I've done this stencil one here. So I turned the power up, I just went a bit bit slower, had it on high power to cut all the way through so I can use it as a stencil. I'm going to do one two times the size of this so I can uh, use a stencil on the outside of the laser engraver and print it. Uh, also it will cut through uh, rubber, this is uh, butyl rubber. I think that's about two mil in thickness or just around about. It will cut through butyl rubber anyway. Uh, it will cut through 3mm plywood. I have cut through 3mm plywood with it, but I haven't got any left. So uh, this was 3.6 and it got 3mm through the 3.6mm uh, plywood. So it is capable of cutting plywood as well. Also, it will cut black plastics and engrave black plastics. So here's a little like token thing that I've done with Hello on. This is a uh, polystyrene, I believe. This is just a seat compact disc uh, CD case. I think it's polystyrene. Uh, yeah, it's got PS and then a recycle bit six on there, so it is a polystyrene. But yeah, we'll easily cut those. These are like free passes to cut through. Uh, also, it will cut leather. I have cut leatherette with it, but this is uh, quite reasonably thick leather. This is about 3mm thick, and it did basically cut all the way through, but there's a, through, but there's a few strands of leather around the edge that weren't cut. But yeah, we'll easily do that. I've also cut uh, cotton fabrics with it as well and you can also uh, I don't know what the name is um, you can sinter like fleeces and stuff like that so if you want to do a design on a fleece uh, if you use like low power and a fast speed you can easily uh, engrave like a design onto a fleece jumper or something which I have also tried that as well I'll put a clip in this video if I can also this is just some engravings that I've done on some plywood. These are just ones that went didn't go how I wanted them. <clears throat> Here's another one here. And here's that fallout clip art I done, came out nice and has that Celtic design. Also it will do some quite fine engraving as well. Now these lines on here are less than a millimetre in thickness in places, so it will do some quite detailed uh, stuff if you've got the time to put, you know, make some nice artwork, your own artwork, whatever it will. 
it will um, engrave quite fine detail so yeah it's quite a decent machine overall and I'm pretty happy with it I've got to say yep so that's it thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye